All right, let's just go. Uh, let's go explore. Right? I'm pretty sure I saw a village over yonder. Yeah. Let's get some wood first. I'm also gonna try what I did last time, where I said I'm not allowed to sleep, because I I feel like hardcore mode is just too easy. You can skip the night, you know. So no sleeping. Uh, I will use armor though. You know what? Just to spite you guys, because someone said. Why do you make a full set of wooden tools? It's not efficient. I'm just gonna do it anyways. Okay, we got some good caves. Look at that mountain range, that looks cool. We'll go up there in a bit. Alright, what do we got? Did I make two wooden axes? What? Why did I do that? Mm, the infinite mysteries of my mind. Yeah, the challenge that I set for myself last time was just to beat the game, but... You know, I am still gonna try to do that, but I think it's... It's more my kind of playstyle to actually take it slow as well. Like, I might build a little little hut, a little abode or something, just to take my time. I don't want to rush too much into beating the game. Whoa, what is up with my arm? What, did you see that? I think the first person mod- oh. Yeah, at the time of me recording this, um, 1.21 is out, so that's pretty cool. This is still on 1.20, but I do want to check that out eventually. Steal some bookcases. Alright, that's probably the extent of the village. I want to go up on that mountain. That looks cool. Gosh, sure is a hike to get up here, dude. Whoa! Oh god. Gotta look where I'm going. Oh, this is kind of a cool cave. Hey man, it's been a while since I've played survival. I've been doing so much building lately, but... I, I saw a comment the other day of someone saying, like, if I just did, like, a... 40 minute video of me gathering materials, they'd watch that, and it is, it is a nice change of pace sometimes to just slow down and just mine some stone or whatever, like, I do miss it from time to time. Like, this channel won't be exclusively building, I think I would get bored of that. Like, it's good to mix it up every once in a while. You know, let's cook some of this mutton. I love cooking stuff on campfires, I really should do it more often. Oh, iron. Let's go. Wow, looks like quite a bit too. All right, 20 coal, six iron. We are, we are bing chilling. See, I will say, man, one thing, um, I'm not running Distant Horizons right now. You know, the mod that lets you see really far because my game has been crashing a lot. And this is 64 chunks and it just looks so small, man. Like I'm just so used to being able to see double that. And it kind of sucks that I can't, but I ordered some new, um, some new RAM for my computer. So I'm gonna install that soon. and. Hopefully that'll fix the crashing, because I would love to play with it again. But I obviously just can't really do that if the game is just going to be crashing. Sometimes it'll literally crash like five seconds into me loading into a world. It's ridiculous. Like, there's something wrong with my computer. God, this is like straight up, man. A lot of people ask me what terrain generation mods I use, and it's always Terralith and Tectonic. And Tectonic is what makes these mountains super tall, if you're just wondering what that is but this is crazy and you can even adjust the height of how high they can generate in the config and you can make them like 500 blocks tall it's ridiculous to see in game i forgot there's lots of iron in these mountains oh i'm a parkour master oh. all right nearly there that took forever to get up here man oh yeah see like like i said 64 chunks that's that's very big but it just looks not that impressive when you're not using Distant Horizons. Oh, what is this guy doing? Yeah, like, I'm just so used to being able to see, like, for miles, but... Yeah, it is what it is. First world problems, I guess. Alright, well, I mean, there's not much to, to do up here, if I'm being honest, but... God, there's so much iron, man. It really is crazy up in the mountains. It's a good incentive to come up here. Whoa! whoa. Dude went flying. You know, another one of my thoughts that I had about why I want to have this rule where I'm not allowed to sleep in hardcore is because something just rubs me the wrong way whenever there's a video like, oh, I survived a thousand days in hardcore Minecraft, but realistically, it's more like 500 days because you slept for most of those. Like most people, they use the bed sleeping mechanic to skip the night. You know, understandably so. It's not like it's a bad thing to skip the night, but it's like, it wasn't really a thousand days. Like, not really. You just skipped half of that, so... Like, if I survive 100 days, and 
I didn't sleep for any of those, it was like a true 100 days challenge, you know? I mean, that's not the point of this video, it's, it's not a 100 days challenge, but, you know, you get my point, like, it's a little bit disingenuous to say that, but, I don't know, I mean, it's a nitpick, it's not, it's not that deep, but, just something I was thinking about. The skeleton, yeah, he's lurking over there, I just don't want to get shot off this mountain. Hopefully it doesn't bother me. I mean, so far so good though. I mean, nighttime hasn't proven super difficult. Knock on wood. Looks like we got a village down there. We can go check that out in the morning. I don't really spot anything else though. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. I might have to abandon my iron. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, I spoke too soon. I left like nine iron up there, but not the end of the world. I can just leave it. That was a crazy escape, man. That was like a 200 block drop. Man, dude, the shaders I'm using, if you're wondering, is complimentary and just so pretty, man. I think it, it's probably my favorite shader of all the shaders you could have. Geronimo. All right. Survived my first night. All right. Let's see what's in this village. Didn't look terribly large from the top of the mountain, so I'm not expecting much. Yeah, not much. I mean, I already have a lot of food, so I'll just press on. I'd like to find a desert temple if possible. That'd be really cool. Looks like, is that another village? Yeah. I also saw some lava pools over there, so I could set up, set up shop around that and build a portal eventually. It's kind of an ugly biome though, isn't it? It's not the prettiest of areas to live. Whoa. It's like a ravine. Well, actually, that's a good, good spot to settle right next to the lava pool. I could build a portal and easy cave access. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's set up here. I'm not going to rush into the portal like last time. That was a bit of a mistake. But I could build myself a little little house or something. The problem is, there's no real trees. Maybe I'll run over to the jungle and get some jungle planks with that. Like I said, I don't want to rush into beating the game. I do want to build, you know, a humble abode. Nothing crazy, but I don't want to just focus on trying to beat the game. Oh, this is a cool biome. What is this? Badlands. Okay. God, I love this third person mod, dude. It's uh it's better third person that lets you turn like that, and then camera utils that lets you zoom out your third person view. It's a really great combination. You know, I while we're on the topic of mods, I, I would like to know if you guys know any good mods that make the game harder, and not from like a gimmicky perspective, like adding thirst or adding like temperature, like I don't really care about that, but I like I like games like Terraria that have mechanics like blood moons or you know events that happen like maybe you get invaded or like make mobs more difficult to fight. I just want stuff like that cuz I'm trying to make hardcore actually hardcore and actually difficult. Cuz Terraria has a thing with master mode where I think it makes the mobs do like double damage or something crazy like that. Like I want something like that. So if you guys know any good mods like that, please let me know. I would Happily try it out. Alright, let's get some jungle logs. Yeah, I will say the physics mod, it's a, it's a bit much in the jungle when you break a tree down and all the vines fall like that. It's very laggy, but it is cool. Alright, that's probably plenty of wood. Build a little wooden hut. Whoa. <laughs> Where did these creepers come from? It's the daytime. Ugh, man. Drinking some mango GT's kombucha. Not a sponsor, but very good. I'd recommend it. Alright, where was my little base of operations? It was around here somewhere. Whoa. <laughs> I really gotta be careful where I step. Uh, I think it was right here. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I want to build... I'm kind of feeling like a little... Little sunken house that's kind of built into the ground. Oh, I want to be careful with the fire. There's something kind of like this. Um... I don't know. Is this going to look good? Like, you kind of walk into it. And then we could do some walls like this, maybe. I was just going to use trapdoors for the windows. Or even, I could do, tr like, windows like that. Where it's like the slab is the window. I'm not doing a very good job explaining this. Because I've got this kind of window, and then I've got... I feel like this is going to look better. Like, you can't even really see out of this. I mean, see, this is, this is why I build in creative mode, because there's always, like, I'm struggling for space. Alright, something like this. This is what I'm thinking. Alright, yeah, there we go. So we got a little cozy 
home for the night. See, this is a proper starter base, man. You could build this thing in like five minutes. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Looks like a villager he got off the path and got infected. Now let's move some of this crap inside. All right, there's all my plunder. Yeah, this is a good start, man. I like this. That's what I was talking about. I didn't want to build anything crazy. No mega starter base, but just something to get me going. So what do I need? I need my tools, need food. I do want to go mining now, I think. I think the ravine was like literally right here, right? Oh, oh jeez. Yeah, you think you're so sneaky. I need to find some coal, man. I don't have a lot. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, I didn't realize I brought a stack of logs down here. I guess I could have just smelted some of those for coal, but whatever. You always need more coal, so it's it's good to have more than you need. I think it'd be cool if I if I try to beat the entire game, it'd be cool to get some enchanted gear. Cause despite you know, contrary to what the title might say, I'm not that good at the game. I'm not a super expert gamer. So I need all the help I can get. Is that gonna spread? Ooh. Spooky. Um, man. These caves, it's so easy to get lost. No idea where I am. I want to find like a structure, ideally, like a mine shaft. That'd be cool. A dungeon. Alright, nothing nothing too promising, but lots of iron. That's good. God, even more iron, man. It's everywhere. At this point, like, I've got a stack and a little bit of coal and a stack and a little bit of iron. Like, could go to the nether soon. Honestly, I mean, I've got the food for it. I would like to get a bow and some arrows, though. That would be really helpful. I want to get down to some deep slate, though. Like, find some diamonds? That'd be cool. Oh, <laughs> I was just saying that. Wow. Speak of the devil again. There's really not that many monsters in the caves. It's kind of strange. Like, I used to be so... Not scared, but like, as a kid, you'd be like, Oh, the caves are really where the danger is. But I haven't really found any, except for those creepers at the start. Hey, this looks like it goes down. This is going to, Oh, it's a mine shaft. Let me take some of these rails. Might find them useful. I don't know about you guys, but I always mine through these little pillar bits because I just don't want to be, you know, spooked by something hiding behind the corner. Because sometimes there is a creeper hiding and it bamboozles me with a chest. Eh, not that useful. I don't know what detector rails do. I mean, I'm assuming they detect things, but... I'm a redstone noob. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. Ooh, diamonds. That's what I'm talking about, man. All right, I think... Oh, whoa. That goes down far. I think it's just the one diamond, but... Now we're talking, dude. Glad I didn't dig straight down, man. Where does this even go? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not today, pal. Not today. Oof. Okay, there's a spawner. Oh. Oh. Alright, just a little bit. Uh, I'll be fine. Oh, I could get a bow from this string. Oh, he's up there. <laughs> You're stuck. That's right. Eat shit. What, what? What is going on? I saw some gold on the ceiling. Yeah, right here. I really need to rely on bartering with piglins this time. Last time I tried to just search for endermen, for ender pearls, for the eyes of ender, and that was so inefficient. It's ridiculous. Like, don't even bother, dude. Alright, there's more cave down here. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Here we go. I heard in uh, 1.21 they've added tough blocks, like tough bricks and slabs and stairs. They look pretty cool, dude. I'm honestly excited to get into 1.21. I just I just have to wait because, you know, people ask me, like, when are you going to update the mod pack to 1.21.1? But you kind of have to wait for all the mod developers to update their mods so that I can update the mod pack. So it's going to be a little bit, but... Oh, God. Just, just be patient. Not today, thank you. I don't want to stray too far from my furnaces. I've got a lot of iron back there, but... It'd just be nice if I could find some more diamonds. Oh, I left all my coal back there. Oh, okay. I do have to go back. That's right, because you don't really find any coal in Deep Slate. It's way too deep for that. What's the point of this stuff? Can make, like, nubs on the ground? You know, one thing that I've never done, honestly, is find a use for beetroot. I know you can make, like, soup with it or something, but... It's, like, 
Why? Why would I do that? That's what I don't understand about this game sometimes is it, it doesn't have a lot of things in it that are like, okay, this is a good thing, but has a trade-off. And if you do this thing, it's got that. But it's like, when it comes to food, certain foods are just worse. Like mutton is just straight up worse than steak. And there's not like a, a decision you have to make about that. It's not like, okay, mutton gives you less food, but you get this thing as a trade-off, you know? Like, I just wish there were more lateral decisions like that to be made than just like, okay, this thing is straight up better than another thing. And then why would you ever use it, you know? That's why I, why I would never use beet fruit, because it's, like, it's just probably really trash food. Whoa, whoa, it's the creeper party. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Alright, looks like that was three, so we're up to four. That's good. If I get five, I can get an enchanting table. Oh, nice. Stay back, huh? I wonder if I should just go for it and just try to beat the entire game right now. In one sitting. I could do it. Oh, it's one of those, um, geodes, right? Yeah. Uh, that's cool. I think you can get a, um, a spyglass, right? If you have copper. Should I try to do that? Maybe I'll try it. I'd have to look it up in the book. I don't know the recipe by heart. Ooh, lapis. I forgot I needed that. Oh, oh geez. See, that's what I was talking about. They come around the corner and they surprise you. Gosh. Jump scare. Whoa. That is cursed. Is that a floating rail? That's funny. Alright, at this point, I just want one more diamond, and then I can uh, enchant stuff. Oh, let's go, baby. Just what I was asking. That's the third time in this video I've been like, hey, I need this thing, and then it shows up. I swear this is not rehearsed or anything. And it was exactly just one diamond, right? There's nothing else? Yeah. Okay, I can head to the surface now. Might take a while. I'm really deep down here. Oh, what? No way. I was just digging my staircase and I just found some more. Wow, and it looks like a lot too. This is an eight vein. Damn. All right, man. We are set. All right, here we are. Looks like that's the mountain range. Oh, wait, I'm on. I'm on the side of the mountain at spawn, and I crossed that earlier. My house is on that side, isn't it? Oh man, do I have to go over that again? No, I think I do. Wow, okay. Actually, is that one of those underground lakes? I know those go through the mountain range, usually. It's like an underwater river. I could do that. This is a river, right? It's not just like a dead end. Oh, is it a dead end? Oh man, usually these go all the way through the mountain, what? That's so lame. That sucks. Okay. So I do have to go over the mountain. Alright, well, it's time to make the climb. Gosh, I thought that was a climb. Now I have all of this? Jeez. Tectonic is no joke. Alright, made it on the top. I was gonna go all the way back down. Alright, I think my house is somewhere down here. I hope it is. I don't think I'm gonna make it down before sundown, but that's alright. I did realize, though, um... Because I'm not sleeping, I am gonna run into phantoms eventually. Might even be tonight. So I'm not excited about that. Oh god! Jesus, man. That jump scared me. Alright, well here's a village. I don't know if I've been here though. So where's my- is it this way? I'm trying to figure out where my house is. I really don't know. <laughs> Kinda lost. I thought it was over here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, wait a second. This isn't the spawn village, is it? Oh my god, I was here. So I was on the right side of the village the whole time. So I so I just crossed it just to get on the wrong side. I was on the right side the whole time. Oh my god, man. Are you serious? So this is the spawn village. Golly, man. That's ridiculous. I don't know how I didn't notice that. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to hole up in the village tonight. I'll cross it in the morning. That's so ridiculous. I crossed the whole mountain for nothing. <laughs> Here, I guess I could smell some of my stuff while I'm waiting because I can't sleep, right? I don't know how I didn't notice that, man. I mean, I guess neither side of the mountain is terribly distinct from the other, but... <laughs> that's so ridiculous. Alright, well, my stuff finished cooking, so... Is it... It's not almost morning, but I might as well just go for it. Is that my torch? Yeah, okay, so that's the spot where I was smelting earlier. Oh, jeez! 
Yeah, okay, so I'm totally on the wrong side. I was on the correct side the entire time. That's just comical, man, honestly. I don't know, like, what... Ma Maybe I'll have to watch the recording back. Like, what made me think I was on the wrong side? I don't know. I thought that village looked a little bit familiar, though. Okay, pal, take it easy. Oh, wait, if I go back up to that spot, though, I left, like, nine iron, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Let me go grab that. Yep. Here we are. Left 11 iron. Wow. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, there it is. There's my house. I was on the right side the whole time. I'm curious. I want to see where I came out. Like, how close I was to my house, and I just didn't realize it. Because I remember I saw that underground river, so I could probably line it up and retrace my steps. Here we are. Home sweet home. So that was the underground lake right there. So I was standing, like, over there. And I just didn't notice. And it was broad daylight, too. It's not like it was nighttime. Gosh, I don't know how I bungled that so badly. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm home now. Uh, at this point, I want to enchant, I guess. And then we can go to the nether, I would say. So what do we need? We need... I got the pickaxe. I got the buckets. Uh, we just got the lava, I guess. I could do this to get the, uh, the obsidian for the portal, too. I, I want to build, like, a little aesthetic portal this time. Last time I just did the old like bucket lava trick and you build it with buckets, but I want to build like a little little cave for the portal or something. Alright, there we go. All 14. So I, I kind of want to build the table and portal inside the house somehow. Like a little underground thing. It'd be nice if we had a skylight somehow with these trap doors. Like this, kind of? Yeah, this could be right where the table is, and there's like sunbeams going down on top of it. That'd be cool. Now, I did steal some bookcases earlier, right? So I've got some books already. So I can make seven bookshelves, all right? It's not a lot. I mean, I'm not going to get super high level enchants, but this is better than nothing. Yeah, there we go. That looks nice. So actually, I've got eight diamonds, so... Would it be better to make a chest plate or diamond tools, like a sword. I feel like a chest plate would be really good. Especially because I only have a leather one. Yeah. Get thorns. I think I'm just going to go with protection one. I love some feather falling. Feather falling three? Oh my god, dude. And then unbreak. Well, it's not that great. Better than nothing. Respiration. I don't think I will use that. Knockback. I think knockback would be good. Okay, and then we just need arrows. I don't really have any any arrows yet. There are villages nearby though, and I could make a, like a fletching table and I could trade for emeralds with sticks. That might be the move, honestly, because I don't really think I'm going to be able to get chickens and feathers and flint and all that. Alright, well here's a village. Or <laughs> village. Here's a river. There's probably some gravel in here somewhere. Or it's literally all sand. Never mind. There's gotta be gravel somewhere. It's pretty common. There's gravel. Okay. Alright, six. That should be enough. Go back. Yeah, here they come. Come get your job. Oh, don't play. <laughs> Stay back. Stay back. Alright, well that's four stacks of arrows, so I think that's probably enough. So, let's go build a portal and, and head to the nether. I feel, I feel equipped, man. I, I've got all the drip. I've got all the arrows and the... Yeah, we'll be good. Ain't dying tonight. Okay, so let's build the port. Oh, I just realized I don't. Have oh my god! I just realized I threw all of my gravel away, and I I do need at least one for the flint and steel. So <laughs> I gotta go back, and get some more. You know, I kind of want to build a um, a roller coaster. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> roller coaster. I'm surprised six powered rails was enough to power that big old loop right there. I like the little ramp. That's awesome. I knew I'd find a use for these rails somehow. So let's think. If I'm gonna go to the nether right now, I've got the I've got the food, I've got the blocks, I've got the arrows and the bow. I think we're ready to go, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I think this inventory maybe just a little bit more wood. Yeah. I think that's good though. I think this is all I need. Alright, let's go. Alright. It's a bit of a spooky spawn. So I've got nine gold. I do want to trade with pillage. 
What are they called? Not pillagers. Uh, piglins. You know, it actually might be worth making, um, like an iron hat. Or not iron, a uh, gold hat. And that way they won't attack me. Just, I, I just don't really want to deal with that, you know? I think that'll be worth it. See, that's a good example of what I was talking about earlier about lateral game design where, yeah, the gold helmet is worse, but the trade-off is that they don't attack you, right? So it's like that's a decision that you could make for, for choosing a certain item, right? It's not just like straight up better to have uh, an iron helmet in this case, right? That's the kind of game design that I like to see. I'm so glad I didn't spawn in one of those soul sand valleys that have those wisps. I had to deal with those in the last video and they were such a pain in the ass. Wait, is that a fortress? Oh my god, it is. Wow, let's go, okay. I almost missed that. Whoa, what is, is this? Is this a fortress, right? That's like a village though. This must be two different structures generating on top of each other. Is there any loot? Piglin Civilian. What? That's cool. What was he? Is he like taunting me? What are you doing? It's like you want to go? Here, well, here look, I'm cooking their, their brethren in front of them. Wow, it's only been seven days. That's crazy. It's been a whole Minecraft week. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Hey, chill out, chill out. Here, oh, there's blazes. Oh, God. Oh, this place is cool. I like how this is generated. Cool structures. Did they drop blaze rod? Yeah, there's one. Oh, shit. That was kind of bad. There we go. Crisis averted. Dude, they have a gold table? Talk about drip. Hey, give it here. I traded with you, huh? <laughs> Hand it over. Not the most uh, scenic place for a couch, gonna be honest. Oh, there we go. How many? Three? I'll take that, dude. I hope there's a spawner somewhere. That would be nice. Oh, pfft. that's the fourth time in this video that I've said I want something and then it shows up. What? How did that hit me? I guess I really should save these for the Ender Dragon, shouldn't I? This is so much easier when you, I allow myself to have armor. Last time I tried to do this, I didn't even wear armor, and that was ridiculous. Alright, we got five. That's good progress. I just killed three blazes and they didn't give me a single rod. What? Dude, they're like curving bullets. What? I was so behind the corner. Alright, ten. That's plenty. That's more than enough. Let's get out of here. I guess I'll just head in the general direction of my portal and just hope that I uh, find a forked forest, you know? It was that way, right? Pretty sure it was. Uh, okay, there's my cobble. Getting pretty close now. There it is. Okay, there's the portal. So there's the portal, but it's just nothing but crimson forest around here. So, oh wait, what's that? Is that... That looks like a soul sand valley. Maybe I'll go over there. I just need to find a different biome that has the enderman in it. And I have a good shot of getting some pearls. Hey, chill out, little man. Don't make me snipe. Yeah, that's what you get. Whoa, <laughs> you like ballooned in size. I'm using uh, Incendium for all the biomes in the nether. Or it transforms the nether. And I know there's a boss mechanic in the game. Like, there's a. They've added boss fights into it. I've never really explored the progression of Incendium, but it sounds really cool. Maybe eventually. Whoa, look at this, dude. This looks insane. It's like blinding. It's cool though. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, it blends in with the terrain. Oh, let's go. 
Wait, did I shoot the fireball and then it fl Oh my god. That was even cooler than I thought. Yeah, shoot each other. Still no, um, warped forest. I mean, it, I could just go to the overworld, but I just feel like it would take so long. The fog just makes it so hard to see anything. Oh, is that a bastion? Oh, uh, no, I think it's a fortress. I mean, fortresses, do they have obsidian? I don't, I don't know if they do. They might. I guess I could, I could go loot one. Whoa, what is that? That's interesting. That's like a island castle, but it's in the lava. Should I go check that out? I don't know. Hmm. I did get a fire resistance potion from one of the piglins earlier, so if I get another one, then it probably would be okay to bridge out there. Yeah, I think, I think the chances of me finding that portal again are basically zero, so I think I'm just going to commit to building a new portal. Oh god. Ooh, diamonds. Okay. Two <laughs> Jeez, man. Okay. Oh, it's a warped forest. Oh, let's go, man. Okay. Sweet. This is definitely the place to be. Whoa. Do you see... What the... Are they dangling? Ugh. That's kind of freaky. Alright, we'll come back to pearls in a bit. I'm still curious about that, um... The, the castle and the lava out there. Okay, so yeah, it's down there. It looks really cool. Just... <laughs> I don't know if it would be a mistake to explore that. Let me just, let me just see. Because the blaze is like, what if they're shooting me while I build a bridge? Like, I don't know, man, I might be at risk. What? So there's skeletons guarding it. Yeah, okay. It's like a skeleton castle. Oh wait, I don't have the bridge. Okay, there is quartz out here. I say we give it a go and we explore it. I mean, how bad can it be? Oh. Wow. <laughs> Well, the defense isn't putting up much of a fight. I wanna go, pal. Oh, this place looks cool. Wow, that guy took a lot of hits. So all the skeletons are gonna take like eight hits, so... That's... Skeleton Brother? That's what they're called? Wait, he insta-shot my shield. Oh, I don't have any wood. I can't make a um, another shield. Oh crap! Wait, he's holding a cake. And he's called to what? Cake batter? Oh my god! What? <laughs> Come on, man. That's so cheap. A one sh a one hit cake? Are you serious? That's that's ridiculous. So, how bad can it be? Of course I had to say that. Well, that's a two for zero in Minecraft's favor of beating my ass, trying to beat the game, but hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe I'll give this another go in the future, but that's about it, I guess. So I'll see you later.